Channel 3 is your election authority, and it is election day across our state where several communities are voting on mayoral candidates and much more. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne is joining us now live at the state capitol where the secretary of the state is just about to provide an update. Roger, how's it going so far? Kara, I just learned the Secretary of the State just arrived here at the Capitol, and as you mentioned, she's about to provide new information about how Election Day has gone thus far. But I can tell you, your staff members tell us so far things have gone relatively smoothly, but of course, voters are still casting their ballots as we speak, and they definitely have some pretty important choices to make. One Connecticut race is getting national, even international attention. Eyewitness News caught up with Bridgeport Mayor Joe Gannam, as well as challenger John Gomes at the polls this morning. The election is moving forward amidst controversy. A judge recently ordered a new Democratic mayoral primary after video surfaced of a city employee and Gannam supporter seemingly stuffing absentee ballots into a drop box. But while the future is up in the air, both men told us this morning they are focused on winning and making Bridgeport better. One thing I've tried to be a hallmark on is keeping taxes down in this city. It's critically important. Hiring a new police chief with a focus on public safety, funding for education. To do is make a government that's more efficient and accountable, consistent economic growth, to fund education. And at the same time, we have to reduce taxes the correct way. Not the way it's being done now, which is a gimmick. Other key races include New Haven, where Democratic Mayor Justin Elliker is seeking a third term by defeating challenger Tom Goldenberg, a Democrat running on the Republican line. And soon we will have a new mayor of Waterbury. Democrat Paul Pernaruski and Republican Don Majorano are squaring off to replace Mayor Kevin O'Leary. And Hartford voters will also select their next mayor. Both Democrat Arunan Arulampalam and Republican Michael McGarry expressed confidence as they cast their ballots. Very happy with the way my message has been received. The idea of we've lost our sense of order and how to get it back. I feel really good. You know, I think we've built a really diverse coalition from across our city. We've got a lot of the support. We were out on thousands of doors this weekend. We've talked to thousands of voters and we're excited to see what happens tonight. And again, I am about to go into the Secretary of the State's office to get an update, so stay tuned on that. We'll have brand new information coming up shortly. And again, remember, the polls are open until 8 o'clock here in Connecticut tonight. Reporting live at the State Capitol on this Election Day, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Roger. And those are not the only major races we're following for you right now. Derby could also see a new mayor. Incumbent Mayor Richard Zekin lost the Republican primary to Alderman Gino Di Giovanni, but Zekin is now on the ballot as a petitioning candidate. Di Giovanni still faces federal charges for being involved in the January 6th insurrection, though he says he's done nothing wrong. Joseph DiMartino is also on the ballot for the Democrats. And in addition to mayoral races across our state, including in Hartford, voters in several communities will be deciding on different ballot questions. So here are some of them. There is a proposal in Ansonia for a new school. Middletown is asking for money to fund a new boathouse. Voters in New Haven will have to decide whether to increase the mayor's term to four years from two. Simsbury has an issue about recreational marijuana sales. And in Southbury, voters will decide on whether the town should create a new police department. As voting continues across the state, we want to know uh, if anything that you see um, is, is going on. The Election Day hotline is up and running, and you can call this. Uh, voters can call the number on the screen to report any incidents of voter intimidation or wrongdoing. That line is open until 8 o'clock tonight. It's right there, 1-866-733-2463. Any concerns can also be emailed, and that address is also on the screen, elections at ct. Dot gov. 